coach is just marveling at this team's power numbers. How do you approach this matchup? Do you, do you approach it any different than against a team that plays a different style at the plate? I think that you um, like you analyze their hitters and kind of you look at them and you you study their team like you would any other team. But I don't I don't know if you necessarily change your whole game plan for. Um, for one team, I think they're a great program. Obviously, they're a top ten team. They have, they're good all around. They were at the College World Series last year. They're no one, definitely not a team you can't look over. I think, but I don't feel like you change everything you do for one team, no matter who it is. So I think that um, just the same kind of aggressive approach. Obviously, we're gonna look at them and um, we're gonna kind of just see what they do and and go from there. But I don't think you, I don't think you change everything you do. Has that been the key for you when you go against a team like Washington or ASU then that, that comes in with a bunch of home runs and, and be able to neutralize them like that? Yeah, I definitely think so. You want to you want to uh, you want to know who you're up against always. You want to know your competition and we know they're good obviously and saw them a little bit at the College World Series but didn't but didn't play them obviously and um, I think it's important I think it's important to stay within yourself and stay within what Oregon does. Coach said there's kind of two way, two ways to approach a non-conference weekend at this point in the season either kind of take a Take a deep breath and relax a little bit against a lesser opponent, or take on an opponent like this. What do you like about you know facing a tougher opponent at this stage of the season? I think that it's an important to always face college, um, like college World Series competition, a top eight team, a team that's been there. I think it's important to be challenged, especially in this part in the season, because after these last two Pac-12 series, which are going to be very difficult. You go right into postseason, so I think it's I think it's awesome to be able to see three um, three College World Series type opponents before postseason. What's the mentality like? I guess maybe facing a Florida team early in the year when you're trying to get going, and then a good team later in the year as you're trying to refine things. How does it change at this point? I think at the beginning of the year uh, when we faced Florida, yes. we were still trying to figure out kind of what version six does and kind of. Um, come together as a team. You know, that's early uh, in the year or not. We have freshmen who haven't played in this kind of competition before, and everybody's just trying to kind of fill out and fill their role. And I think at this part of the season, everybody knows their role, and everything is kind of a little bit, like you said, more refined, and you kind of have an idea of what, what's going on. And I think that um, that's the difference, is everybody's trying to fill things out towards the beginning of the season. Now everybody kind of knows what's going on, and I think that... Um, but that's good. I think. But both those experiences are still valuable. And oh, of course, of course. I think it's important for people to find their find their roles on the team and feel and get that kind of sense of comfortable comfortable feeling. Get rid of those every game butterflies that you have at the beginning of the year. Whether you're a freshman or a junior, I still get that. And then it's like once you kind of get through that preseason phase, you know everything settles down just a little bit, and you're and you feel a little bit more comfortable with your role. Even if you don't change your approach for one team as a rise ball pitcher, what do you have to do differently with a home run hitting team like this to, to keep them in the park? I think just uh, be aggressive and not try to pitch perfectly because they're a good team and they have a very strong lineup. And I think it's important to um, just hit your lanes and be aggressive. How well, you know, you talked about being prepared. How well can you prepare for a team when there's been very few common opponents between the two of you and you don't see them at all like um, you do a league team? You know, our coaches are really good at that. I'm not really sure how all that gets done, but it gets relayed to us somehow. And uh, um, our coaches are really good at um, helping us feel prepared in um, every element. So I think that uh, they usually take care of that stuff. And then, you know, we listen to them and take it in and do what they ask us ask of us these next two days before the game and just go with it that way. So first time through the lineup, I mean, do you adjust once you've seen them in person a little bit? Yeah, or? of course. You always are trying to look at things that the opponent's doing as you're, um, while you face them. You're always interested in kind of how they swing or whether they take the first pitch or just you're always looking at minor details of if they're bunning, if they're, if they're a slapper or if they just are a power hitter. You know, you, you're everybody throughout the game, you're, you're looking at that stuff. In regard to preparing for a team you don't know well, is this also kind of a good practice for, for postseason when you never know who you're going to get? I think so. I think it's a really good practice for postseason. Is you know we're not 100% sure, sure on everything we they absolutely do. Like like teams like Arizona and Cal and Stanford and Washington that we've seen for a couple of years, and it's different when you you're playing someone you haven't seen you don't see every year in conference. So um, yeah, I think so. But it's going to be fun. I'm excited to play a really good team and a top 10 team and. They're really respected, and we res we respect them a lot. Obviously, we respect anybody we play, but I think you just 
You just gotta like play Oregon softball and not forget what we do. You guys are running out of games here at Hal. It may not be the top-notch no. facility, but but what are you going to miss about this place? And is it setting in on you that, that you're running out of games here? I know it's so weird to think that. Like I know he, Coach White always says, it's just going to be 100 feet that way, and I, it's going to be at second base. And you're like, yeah, that's true, but it's not Hal Field. But I am so excited to play on the new stadium and so grateful for. Um, the, the donation and the opportunity to have something new and improve the program and also have something new for the future of the program. I think that's what's most important. Is not It's not personally just about me or this team. It's about what or, for Oregon in the, the years to come. So I, I think it's it's sad to see how it go, but it's exciting at the same time. It may not have the bells and whistles of other parts, but what kind of fun features does this place offer you? I think that the, I think well, I guess the fans will still here, but that's my favorite part is how interactive our crowd is. I guess that'll continue, but I don't know. I just, I just love this field, and I, I just love the, playing here, but I'm obviously I'm excited for the new one. I think, I don't think I have really any, like, personal attachment to the field. I love, I love it, of course, but I think for me, as long as the fans will continue to be here and continue to interact with us and um, have all that Oregon support, I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, thank you guys.